ever appeared on television. I mean, she's just so powerful and so together, at least from what I've seen. Maybe she cracks a little later on, but, but just so together and so driven and so smart. Um, was that part of the reason that attracted you to the role? And, and what can you tell people about who you play? Um, sure. I, I play a character named Olivia Pope who's inspired by Judy Smith, so I'm at the center of Pope and Associates, which is a crisis management firm, and in the first episode, Katie's character has just arrived to, uh, to work at the firm, and so a lot of actually the, the first episode is kind of through Katie's eyes um, because she's meeting us all for the first time in the way that the audience is meeting us all for the first time, and, um, and we fix things. You know, people walk into our office on the absolute worst day of the their lives, which is why we rely heavily on our guest stars, because they have to be people who can bring that levity of, of panic. And, and they walk in and say, I don't know where else to go. I can't go to the cops. I can't go to the media. I never want the courts to know about this. Can you help me? And we do. Um, and my character, before opening this firm, used to work at the White House um, for President Fitz. And um, played by Tony Goldwyn, mm -hmm. and um, and so you you meet in the first episode mm -hmm. the people that work in the office and the people a lot of the people that work at the White House and um, and nobody is who they appear to be in the first episode. Um, as the season moves on, you begin to understand that that the people who have gravitated to this work have gravitated to the work because they have a personal understanding of crisis because they've each had their own experience with a worst day of their lives. And, um, and so they know how to navigate it with compassion and wisdom. Um, so that's what the show is about, yeah. And, and what drew me to her was she is, uh, Olivia is, and it, for me it was, it was there from the first episode, incredibly smart and successful and sophisticated and powerful um, in her professional life. Mm -hmm. And in her personal life, she is a mess. Um, she is mm. torn and vulnerable, and she needs her own Olivia Pope for her personal yeah. life. Um, but, but she can't do that, so, yeah. What can you tell us about President Fitz? Uh, I'm the President of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> That's Try cool. Try and top that. That's cool. That cool. <laughs> no big whip. Uh, um, yeah. Um, and... Um, the show is, you know, a big part of the show, obviously, is the, or the, the cases of, of Olivia Pope and Associates. And then the other part of the show uh, is Olivia, and we have a very, very complicated relationship. Um, Understatement. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Olivia used to work for me at the White House, as Carrie said. And, um, uh, and I left for, for reasons. good reasons. She left for, <laughs> for good reasons. I didn't think they were so good. but. Um, so you you get more and more uh, as the season goes along. Mm -hmm. Life at the White House gets increasingly complex, and um, in some cases scandalous. dirty. <laughs> um, <laughs> scandalous. Uh, scandalous. scandalous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so um, we can't be rid of each other, uh, and, and um, at moments really don't want to be, and at other moments. One of us wants to be, the other one doesn't. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, so it fits, it's just a fantastic character. And as, as Carrie said, you never know what's going to happen. And one of the great things throughout the season was I had, at one point, I was totally convinced they were going to kill me off. Because I was like, how are you going to get me out of this corner I'm in? I don't get it. And then we lo fixed and behold, things. I know. <laughs> What we did, sir. The, yeah, the character does a 180, so we're, we're constantly doing 180s, our characters. Just, but I have so, to um, say that mm -hmm. this man initiated all kinds of trouble in the crew because there would be like these <laughs> knockdown, drag him out arguments in the makeup trailer about like, he's awful, he's perfect. And people would be like throwing things at each other in yeah. her makeup trailer. And my Very makeup artist refused to that. touch him. She wouldn't talk she to me. She was like, so I good. can't. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, liked, I was like, I'm a good father. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. the other thing, as I pass the baton, I just want to point out that there was a time 